Here is the before changing this setting and here is the after. Pretty cool right? Hello everyone it's Rek here and inside of this video I will be showing you a single setting by changing which you can get an FPS boost and fix most of the lags and stutters inside of every single game that you play regardless of your PC specifications. This does work on all of the windows and hardware as well so all of you should be able to use this tweak and see the difference for yourself. But before jumping into the video just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them too with their PCs. And now let's dive straight into into today's video. Alright, all you need to do in order to change this setting is to go ahead and right click on your start menu and run the Windows PowerShell as admin. If you don't find it here, just open up the start menu and search for power, then go ahead and type in the shell and then go ahead and run it as administrator. Just make sure to run it as admin, otherwise it won't work. Alright, so once the PowerShell opens up, what you need to do is type in the command get then the hyphen mm agent just like I am typing and then go ahead and press enter. This is going to get you a list right here and the one that we are looking for is the memory compression and it's set to true. Now for most of the people it will be set to true so yeah we are going to be going ahead and changing it to false. However for some of you it might be set to false so either you can leave it or go ahead and turn it to true and test which one works better for you. But before changing it let me explain what it does. So memory compression compresses the size of the data that is inactive on the RAM in order to free up some space on your RAM so that it can be provided to the program or the game that you're playing. Now in theory setting this to true would be a lot helpful however if you're someone who does not do a lot of multitasking while gaming then turning it off might actually give you a bit of performance boost and also overall lower latency. So for those of you guys who only play the game and maybe have one or two apps like the discord or spotify open in the background while gaming then setting it to false will be better for you. Uh, however if you are someone who has constantly apps running in the background multiple apps that are running in the background while they are gaming then maybe going ahead and setting it to true will be the best option for you. Whichever one you choose you just need to go ahead and test it in a game so before changing this setting go into a game and just roughly look at the FPS average that you are getting and then after changing the setting whether from true to false for most of the people or from false to true for some of you guys uh, go ahead and go into the game once again and check your average FPS after the change. If I quickly go ahead and show you guys my benchmarks then this is with the memory compression off. I was getting maximum FPS of 281, average 188, 1% lows of 142.7 and the 0.1% lows of 98. This is on the memory compression off and the game that I was playing is actually Valorant. I use the training range as a benchmark method so that I can have a similar criteria for both of the benchmarks. So this is the memory compression off and then this is the memory compression on with maximum of 260, average 186, 1% lows 141 and 0.1% lows of 84. If I go ahead and compare both of these then this one will be the memory compression off and this one would be the on. And now you can go ahead and clearly see the difference. Now I know that the difference in FPS is not that much however the memory compression off was a lot more smoother and less hitches or stutters as compared to the memory compression on. So now let's move on to how do we go ahead and enable or disable it. So in my case I'm gonna go ahead and set this to false as that has worked the best for me. So in order to do that all I need to do is go ahead and type in the disable if I can just go ahead and type it then go ahead and type in the hyphen mm agent and then hyphen once again after a space and then mc then go ahead and press enter nothing should pop up it should just work and now in order to check whether it has worked or not we're gonna go ahead and type in the get no spaces hyphen mm agent if i can just type that right once again which for some reason i can't and then go ahead and press enter and now as you can see the memory compression is set to false however in order for this setting to properly apply we need to go ahead and restart our computer and once you change the setting voila you are done you should be able to measure the difference in the frames as well as the latency or the 0.1 uh, percent lows and now for those of you guys who have this set to false and want to set it to true all you need to do is go ahead and type in the enable then hyphen mm agent then go ahead and a space hyphen it once again and mc press enter 
and now it should be applied so if i go ahead and check it now it's set to true once again go ahead and restart your pc uh, and that's all you guys have already seen my benchmarks and for me false has worked better so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it at that however for those of you guys who have already set it to false you might want to go ahead and try setting it to true in order to just measure the increase or decrease in the fps so that you can go ahead and set it according to your computer i have already shown you guys the benchmarks and the commands will be on screen so you can just go ahead and easily use them if you have been watching so far then thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like down below so that the video can reach more people and help them as well and also consider subscribing for more of the similar content with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome